Hello everyone. For today's video, we are going to talk about the module one, topic one, special education in the Philippines. The chapter starts with a vision for children with special needs, followed by the policy, goal, and objectives of special education set by the Department of Education. An account of the historical events in the implementation of special education in the Philippines, as well as its legal basis, are discussed in detail. Let's move to the learning objectives or the learning outcomes for this module. At the end of the module, the students should be able to, number one, identify the different categories of children and youth with special needs. Number two, the student should be able to explain the vision for children with special needs. Next is to discuss the policy for inclusive education for all. Next, the student should be able to enumerate the goal and objectives of special education. And the student should be able to cite important events relevant to the implementation of special education in the Philippines. And lastly, the student should be able to discuss the legal basis of special education in the country. Now, children, are you ready? All right, so let's start. So we are going to talk about the vision for children with special needs. Children and youth with special needs have always been recognized as legitimate beneficiaries of the Philippine government's reforms in basic education. For almost a century now, the Department of Education, through its special division, has been providing the broad framework and standards in establishing and maintaining special education programs in both public and private schools all over the country. The past decades witnessed the continuous development of programs for a wide range of exceptional children and youth together. Likewise, the professionalism or the professionalization of special education continues to be pursued through teacher and administrator training programs. Bold moves are undertaken, number one, to promote access, equity, and participation of children with special needs education in the mainstream of basic education. Number two, improve the quality, relevance, and e efficiency of special education in schools and communities and sustain special education programs and services in the country. Now, let's move to our vision for children with special needs. The Department of Education clearly states its vision for children with special needs in consonance with the philosophy of inclusive education. Thus, the state, community, and family hold a common vision for that Filipino child with special needs. By the 21st century, it is envisioned that he or she could be adequately provided with basic education. This education should fully realize his or her potentials for development and productivity as well as being capable of self-expression of his or her rights in the society. More importantly, he or she is God-loving and proud of being a Filipino. It is also envisioned that the child with special needs will get full parental and community support for his or her education without discrimination of any kind. This special child could also be provided with a healthy environment along with leisure and recreation and social security measures. Now, let's proceed to the policy of special education. The policy on inclusive education for all is adopted in the Philippines to accelerate access 
to education among children and youth with special needs. Inclusive education forms an integral component of the overall educational system that is committed to an appropriate education for all children and youth with special needs. Let's proceed to the goal of special education. The goal of special education programs of the Department of Education to all over the country is to provide children with special needs appropriate educational services within the mainstream of basic education. The tier prong goals includes the development of key strategies on legislation, human resource development, family involvement, and active participation of government and non-government organizations. Now, let's proceed to the objectives of special education. Special education aims to, number one, provide flexible and individualized support system for children and youth with special needs in a regular class environment, in schools, nearest the student's home. Next, to provide support services, vocational programs, and, working, and work training, employment opportunities for efficient community participation and independent living. Number three, implement a lifelong curriculum to include early intervention and parent education, basic education, and transition programs on vocational training or preparation for college. And number four, the last objectives of special education is to make available of array of educational programs and services. The special education center build on a school within a school concept as the resource center of children and youth with special needs. Inclusive education in regular schools and special and residential schools, homebound instruction, hospital instruction, and community-based programs, alternative modes of service delivery to reach the disadvantaged children in far-flung towns, depressed areas, and underserved barangays. Now let's proceed to the historical perspectives. Historically, historically, the interest to educate children with the with disabilities was expressed more than a century ago in 1902 during the American Reheim. The General Superintendent of Education, Mr. Fred Atkinson, reported to the Secretary of Public, Public Instruction that deaf and blind children were found in a census of school-aged children in Manila and nearby provinces. He proposed that those children be enrolled in school like the other children. However, it was until 1907 when a special education program started in the country. The Director of Public Education, Mr. David Barrows, worked, with, worked for the establishment of the Insular School for the Deaf and the Blind in Manila. Ms. Delight, Reyes, Ms. Delight Rice, an American educator, was the first administrator and teacher of special school. Now, let's talk about the happenings during 1926 to 1949. In 1926, Philippine Association for the Deaf, or PAT, was founded, composed mostly of hearing impaired members and special education specialists. The following year, in 1927, the government established the Welfare Vill Children's Village in Mandaluyan Rizal. In 1936, Mrs. Maria Villa Francisco was appointed as the first Filipino principal of the School for the Deaf and Blind, 
or CDB. In 1945, the National Orthopedic Hospital opened its school for crippled children, NOHSCC, for young patients who had to be hospitalized for long periods of time. In 1949, the Kesson City Science High School for Gifted Students was inaugurated. Also in the same year, the Philippine Foundation for the Rehabilitation of the Disabled, or PFRD, was organized. Now let's talk about the happenings in 1950 to 1975. In 1950, the Philippine Association for the Deaf opened a school for children with hearing impairment. The Alcigat Chest Village, or EGV, was established in 1953 in Alabang, Montilupa, Rizal, to take care of abandoned and orphaned children and youth with physical and mental handicaps. The following year, in 1953, the first week of August was declared a Site Saving Week. The private sector supported the government's program for disabled Filipinas. In 1955, members of Lodge Number 761 of the Benevolent and Prote Protective Order of X organized the X Cerebral Policy Project Incorporated. In the same year, the first parent-teacher work conference in special education was held at SDB. In 1956, the first Summer Institute on Teaching the Deaf was held at the School for the Deaf and the Blind in Pasay City. The following school year marked the beginning of the integration of deaf pupils and regular classes. In 1957, the Bureau of Public Schools, or BPS, of the Department of Education and Culture, or DEX, or DECS, created the Special Education Section of the Special Subjects and Services Division. The inclusive of special education in the structure of that provided the impetus for the development of special education in all regions of the country. The components of special education programs included legislation, training, census of exceptional children and youth in schools and the community the integration of children with disabilities in regular classes, rehabilitation of residential and special schools and materials production. Baguio, the Cache, Baguio Vacation Normal School ran courses on teaching children with handicaps. The Baguio City Special Education Center was organized in the same year. In 1958, the American Foundation for Overseas Blind, or AFOB, opened its regional office in Manila. For many years, AFOB assisted special education program of that by providing consultancy services and the teacher training program that focused on the integration of blind children in regular classes and materials production at the Philippine Printing House for the Blind. During 1960, some private colleges and universities started to offer special education courses in their graduate school curriculum. In 1962, the Manila Youth and Rehabilitation Center, or MYRC, was opened. The center extended services to children and youth who were emotionally disturbed and socially maladjusted. In the same year, the DEC issued Circular Number 11, Series of 1962, 
This specify the qualification of special education teacher. Also in 1962, PFRD or the Philippine Foundation for the Rehabilitation of Disabled sponsored the second ex experts in the rehabilitation of handicapped persons. Another milestone in 1962 was experiment education of children at the Jose Rizal Elementary School in Pasay City. The first national seminar in special education was held at STB, SDB in Pasay City in 1962. It was also in 1962 when the St. Joseph of Copertino School for the Mentally Retarded, a private day school, was founded. The training of deaf teachers, scholars at the University of the Philippines commenced in 1962s in the areas of ear impairment, mental retardation, and mental giftedness under Republic Act 5250. In the same year, the Philippine General Hospital opened classes for its school-aged chronically ill patients. With the approval of Republic Act No. 3562 in 1963, the training of deaf teacher scholars for blind children started at the Philippine Normal College. The Philippine Printing House for the Blind was established at the DEC compound with the assistance of the American Foundation for Overseas Blind, UNICEF, and CARE as Philippines. In the same year, the Manila Science High School for Gifted Students was established. In 1964, the Quezon City Schools Division followed suit with the establishment of the Quezon City Science High School for Gifted Students. The year 1965 marked the start of the training program for school administ administrators on the organization, administration, and supervision of special education classes. The first institute on the education and training of mental retarded was sponsored by the Ch Special Child Study Center, the Bureau of Public Schools, and the Philippine Mental Health Association at Ateneo de Manila University. In 1967, BPS organized the National Committee on Special Education. General Letter Number 213, regulating the size of special classes for maximum effectiveness, was issued in the same year. With the approval of Republic Act Number 5250, in 1968, the teacher training program for teachers of exceptional children was held at the Philippine Normal College for the next 10 years. In the same year, the first Asian Conference on Work for the Blind was held in Manila. In 1969, classes for socially maladjusted children were organized at Manila Youth Reception Center. The Jose Fabilia Memorial School was divided into five units and assigned to different parts of Metro Manila. The Philippine Training Schools for Boys in Tane Rizal, the Philippine Training School for Girls in Marilac Hills, Alabang, Montinlupa, Reception and Child Study Center in Manila, Alcigaches Village in Alabang, and Nayon ng Kabataan in Pasay City. The training of teachers for children with behavior problems started at the University of the Philippines in 1970. In the same year, the School for the Deaf and Blind established in 1907 was recognized in two separate residential residential schools. The School for the Deaf, PSD stayed in the original building, and the Philippine National School for the Blind, PNSB, was built next to PSD. Also in the same year, a special school was established in San Pablo City, the Paaralan ng Pag-asa at Pag-ibig. In 1971, the Department of Education and Culture issued a memorandum on duties of the special education teacher for the blind. 
In 1973, the Juvenile and Domestic Relations Court of Manila established the Tahanan Special School for Socially Maladjusted Children and Youth. Meanwhile, in the same year, the first Asian Conference on Mental, Mental Retardation was held in Manila. Under the auspices of the UNESCO National Commission of the Philippines and the Philippine Association for the Retarded, or PAR, Caritas Manila Special School for the Retarded was organized by Reverend Father Arthur Malin, SVD. In 1974, the first National Conference on the Re Rehabilitation of the Disabled was held at the Social Security Building in Quezon City. The Southeast Asian Institute for Deaf, or SED, a private day school, was established in the same year. The following year, the Division of Manila City Schools implemented the Silahis concept of special education in public elementary schools. Six schools were chosen to organize special education programs for the different types of exceptional children. Until today, the Silahi Centers continue to lead in the, inclus in the inclusion of exceptional children in regular classes. When the Department of Education and Culture was recognized into the Ministry of Education Culture in 1975, the Special Subjects and Services Division was abolished. The personnel in the Special Education section were divided into two. Half of them composed the Special Education Unit of the Ministry of Education Culture, while the other half was assigned to the Special Education Unit of the Minister of Education and Culture Capi National Capital Region in Quezon City. <laughs> 